So we'll go ahead and get started then. Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. And in today's video, we're talking about the fast of the fifth month. Now we're looking here in the book of Enoch at his description of the sacred calendar. And this is important because we're talking about the fast of the fifth month in the year 2023. Now, let me jump over and show you. This is what Enoch was telling us there in his book of the Revolutions of the Luminaries of Heaven. He was showing us how the Genesis 1 and 14 calendar works. He was telling us, he tells us how it works in that book. And if you've been following our channel, you can find videos all the way back to 2015 when we started working on um, deciphering that book, for lack of a better word. But anyway... But here, all of these many years later, here is the understanding of what Enoch was saying. What he said was that the year begins on the day after the days and the nights are equal. In other words, you have the spring equinox and then after and then that's the 364th day of the year. That's the last day of the year when you have the spring equinox. And then after that, you begin day one. So March the 20th is day zero. March the 21st is day one. And then you start counting 91 days per season. That's important to understand is that the Enoch calendar doesn't really work on months as it does on gates and seasons you heard of the 364 day calendar we heard about those four days that are added to the 360 day calendar well these are the days of remembrance and these dates here june the 20th september the 18th december the 18th and march the 20th are the dates in which those portals or gates open so you have the gate to open, the fourth gate particularly, because he's talking about the first month. So you have the gate to open through which the sun and the moon proceed. So you have all three. Like we said, this is the Genesis 1 and 14 calendar, not the Dead Sea Scrolls calendar, not the Book of Remembrance calendar. This is the... Genesis 1 and 14 calendar where we're told that you need the sun, the moon, and the stars for the sacred time piece. And this is why. 2023 is an excellent example of why you have to go according to this scripture. Because you're looking here. Okay, so here he says the first month begins in the fourth gate. That's because... This is the this this right here. What we're looking at is the representation of a sundial. This is if you had a gnomon here that was cast in a shadow from the sun and it was calibrated correctly on March the 20th, the sun will travel this line. That shadow will perfectly travel that line all, all day long. When you come in high noon, it will be right there in the middle and it will travel that line then the day after march the 21st it will be down here and it will be slightly below the line and that's when you'll know the gate has opened for spring the tropical year has started notice i said the tropical year has started when that gate opens the solar year begins back here in the first gate the solar year begins back here in the first gate that's why they celebrate um, Christmas and that kind of thing, the birth of the sun and all of that kind of thing. That's the first gate. The tropical year begins in spring here. And then all we need, according to what Enoch said, was the representation of the moon. When we have the new moon between March the 20th and April the 20th, that new moon that falls between there and a norm you know in the gray area a little bit there I'm straddling the lines i know but when you have the new moon in that area then you have the convergence of all three the stars which are like the numbers on a clock they never move the equinox will never change the equinox is the start point it's always going to be there and then you have the sun which is going to show up at you know the same time according to the solar year the 365 day year and then you need the moon now, what we're looking at here is the moon, when it happened to occur back there in the first month, which, you know, 
the new moon came after her, March the 21st. So that's why it's so close to this line. And then when we got to April, we had the second new moon. And then right there on the line, May the 20th, we got the third new moon. And then while many people were contemplating the idea of the fourth month and the fourth new moon, what they didn't realize is that it actually fell in the same window with this moon. So in other words, we had two moons in the same gate, in the same 30-day window. We had two new moons. Now, I know this is a little bit confusing here because you have half of the gate on this side and half of the gate on this side. Uh, all of these have two periods in which the sun transverses. That's why you have six gates and 12 months. Well, in this two month period from May the 20th to July the 20th, we had three new moons. And this is what is referred to as the black moon. This is a black moon when you have a fourth moon in a season. Like we said, Enoch goes by seasons, not by moons. Those moons have to line up in the seasons. So in the spring season, we have four moons. And one of them is the black moon. Uh, Google is saying that it was the May moon. So what they're saying is this moon that fell on the line right here didn't count. So while this was the first month, this was the second month. This was not the beginning of the third month. The third month didn't actually begin until the new moon that fell on or about June the 17th. And then it was the new moon on July the 20th that was the beginning of the fourth month. That was the first moon of the season. That's when, that was the day of remembrance on that new moon that fell, looking over here at fullmoonology.com on or, or around the uh, 17th or the 18th of July that began the season that's when summer began not with the new moon back there in june but with the new moon in july did summer begin so that was the beginning of the fourth month and the new moon that just occurred is the beginning of the fifth month so now we're waiting for the 10th of Av or the 9th of Av or the fast of the 5th month I should say so let's go and let's see exactly when that is so what we'll do is we'll come over here to truthofyahweh.com to confirm that the new moon was seen on August the 17th and looking down through here we had several reports of people seeing the new moon on the 17th I'm seeing about 10 or 12 uh, different confirmations here of people seeing it around the world on the 17th. So we know that the 17th was the first day of the month. And so if we're looking for the 10th day of the month, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which will be Saturday the 26th. Of course, it's the 9th of Av will be the 25th. Many people will start celebrating as early as the 23rd, uh, which would be the 7th of Av. The 9th of Av, again, is the 25th. And the 10th of Av in the year 2023 is the 26th. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Shalom.